Hello and welcome to a new episode from Zyxel Support Campus. Today I want to introduce the XGS 2220 series to you. It's the basic installation switch that is the first base of your big network and to cascade it. You can use it with 10 gigabit SFP plus power and also a high capacity of PoE. I will show you the configuration and also the usage of these models in the environment of a network. But let's see what is inside the box. The XGS2220 comes in an eco-friendly box that consists mainly out of cardboard. It also has two big cushions to protect the device against shock and a foil. The accessory is packed into a carton board box. Zyxel delivers the series with a limited lifetime warranty and advanced swap even on next business day if you register the device for this service. Please check the local website for more details. If you unpack the device, you see the details of the product on the bottom label. On the front side, you see the connections, including SFP Plus connection. On the left hand side, there's the connection to install the device into a rack and a fan hole. On the back side, you find the grounding and the power connection and the fan on the other side. The QR code and serial number and MAC address on the bottom label helps you to install the device on Nebula Control Center. Also included is a power cable and the brackets to mount the device into 19-inch rack. You can have these devices with PoE and non-PoE version, where there's a little difference in the depth where to install it into a rack. You can see the dimensions on the website under the technical data. And also you can have different power versions. Let's see how the installation works. In our example for education and conference centers, we take an aggregation switch. This is the XS3828 with layer 3 aggregation and SFP plus ports. Connected by 10 gigabit fiber port, we add an XGS2220 with 30 HP ports to set the infrastructure with access point and normal clients. On the 2.5 gigabit PoE, you can connect high-end access points to offer a bigger bandwidth and more clients to connect to the wireless. Use the 54 port model to have even more access points and more clients connected. Our next example is for hospitality. You use an aggregation switch, for example, the XGS2220 with 30F. It's the SFP Plus Layer 3 access switch. Then we cascade with the model XGS2220 30HP or 54HP. Our example number one is the infrastructure for guest rooms. You can use the standard connection of Gigabit for IPTV and the Gigabit PoE for access points and also IPCAM to survey the hallways. Example number two is specialized for lobby or meeting room. You have the 2.5 GHz connection to have high-end access points 6E and also for VoIP over IP phones or IP cams. Example number three is the same like the first configuration, but with more ports, you can connect more IPTV lines and also more access points or cameras because it's a 54 HP model. The installation of this product is very simple with the Nebula Cloud Management. You can install your devices using four simple steps. First, you create your account or log in with your existing account. Then you create an organization and site. Scan the QR code of the device from the button or the box. And then you can add your device to your account. The device is online in a few minutes. Visible as online in the dashboard. If you have a question about the product, please leave it in the comment section or visit us on support.cycle.eu. 
you can find more than 600 help desk articles in different languages and the contact to our support team. We are done with our episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss any of our new episodes. Also, you can follow us on Facebook. For our reselling partners, I suggest you to visit our website partner.seixel.eu. You can find special offers and commercial material and special information for resellers. A visit is worth it. Thank you very much and have a nice day. We're Zeisel and we're your networking ally. When one video ends, then simply open up another one. If you like the channel, then subscribe to it and hit the bell to get notified. Go ahead, we support you.